if I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. Well, well, that's the you wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have. You no, wouldn't have done that not, before. That's not an immediate. No, you wouldn't that's have done that before. That's not who I am. That's no. not what I believe. It is the reality the left has but created. I, I, I'm, I'm... Your ears are not deceiving you, my friends. You heard that correctly. The left made Charlie Kirk racist. Yep. See, it's the left's fault that Charlie Kirk is suspicious of black pilots specifically when that's not really who he is. He swears. But because of this push for diversity from the left, he's now forced to side eye anyone who's black and assume that they're there specifically because they're black and not because they're qualified. See, in general, pilots are required to have college degrees. They're required to have 20-20 vision and not be colorblind. They're required to pass background checks and complete written exams, not to mention 50 1500 hours of flight time before they're able to obtain their pilot license but you know if they're black they don't have to do any of that they don't have to have the same qualifications they just show up with their resume let the people know who does the certification that they're black and then they get a plane within a week that's how it works the stupidity here is just it's so insane to me and just the blatant racism here is it's not shocking like i don't think shocking is the right word I just think that I'm a bit surprised that he's not trying more to hide it. But he went on to further explain his racist thinking. So let's listen. I want just like cookie cutter, like, pilot. yeah, this is so this is so easy to me. I, I don't want Laquisha James. They have that like pilot voice. And she's just like, hi, ladies and gentlemen. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> and the, tr look, the, tr look, and the no, truth is, it's, it's just this is a creation that the left wanted. Because and, and, and they they think you can't say anything about it because they'll call you a racist. And this is where re you we really have to take the gloves off yeah. and say your name calling will not get in the way of people's safety at thirty five thousand. They're like feet. it's offensive. To it is so interesting to me that he specifically attributes a lack of safety to black pilots. Yet he thinks it's outrageous to call them racist. He's not citing any study or statistic indicating that black pilots in particular are worse than white pilots, and he's not doing that because that's not the case. But he's just choosing to make that connection in his own head, that if they're black, I'm going to assume that they're not qualified. But don't you dare call him racist. Now, just so we're clear, when he says cookie cutter, he means white. That's what he means. But by his logic, we should actually assume that we're less safe with male pilots since men are statistically more likely to be colorblind than women. It's estimated that one in 12 men are colorblind compared to one in 200 women. But I mean, he doesn't seem to worry about male pilots and think, gee, I hope that they're not colorblind. In fact, if you watch that segment more, they said they'd prefer to have a male pilot, somebody named Chad with a Southern accent. But he's not saying, man, I really hope that I have a female pilot because they're less likely to be colorblind because that would be absurd, right? He knows there are specific qualifications that pilots have to meet to become certified and get licensed. But when it comes to black pilots in particular, you just can't be too sure. Yeah. And as good politic guy put it, Boeing spent years cutting corners, spending billions on stock buybacks, getting government handouts, prioritizing shareholder over safety. And the right takes this story of corruption and is just like, no, the issue is black people. Exactly. You know, there's a word for that, but it's not quite coming to my mind. I think it starts with an R racing. Um, I, I don't know, but there's some there's something that people call that, right? But I mean, to be fair, Charlie Kirk isn't just worried about black pilots. He's also fearful about black people in other important jobs. For example, he doesn't want a black surgeon as well. Surgeon and flight are the top two where it's like they no one really cares when it's HR managers. No one cared when it was, you know, just kind of paper shufflers or even engineers. But now when it's like, wait, wait, hold on a second. Uh, you're going to remove my appendix and you're a black lesbian. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you you bring these. Did okay. you, you know, it's so interesting to me that black people always come up in his mind first when he's concocting these hypothetical examples of somebody not being qualified. So you're probably asking, what is the context here? Right. Because he can't be that blatantly racist, can he? There's got to be some underlying argument that gives him a little bit of plausible deniability. Right. Well, no, this is just pure 
unadulterated racism. But conservatives think it's okay to be suspicious of black people if you're talking about them within the confines of DEI, which stands for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Now, DEI has become a bit of a buzzword or a buzz acronym, kind of like CRT, because it allows them to cloak their racism in an intellectual facade when in actuality it's just racism. At least they think that it's kind of helping to hide their racism when it's not. But DEI is a push largely by corporations and organizations to include marginalized groups that have been historically excluded from certain positions despite having the same qualifications as their white counterparts, which is key. It's a good thing in actuality, just like CRT is also a good thing, contrary to popular belief. But conservatives view inclusion as them being replaced, or perhaps they just don't want to share spaces with black people and people of color. So rather than just saying that, they'll invoke DEI or affirmative action to complain about the presence of black people and people of color in traditionally white spaces. See, if they didn't like seeing people of color in historically white spaces like a college campus, for example, they think it sounds less racist if they say, hey, that person... Should they be here? It must be because of affirmative action. They must have not worked as hard as me to get here. Now, DEI to them is the new affirmative action, but it's better because they can apply it to more things. But DEI is a sort of get out of jail free card to them when it comes to racism, because it allows them in their mind to basically give themselves a pass for their own racism. And so long as they invoke it, What they say is not racist. So if you don't want to see a black person as your pilot because you're racist, you can simply play the DEI card and concern troll about their qualifications rather than just admitting that you're a racist and you think they're inferior. And that's how they think it shields them from accusations of racism. And that's exactly what Charlie Kirk is doing here. But if what he said just sounds like regular racism to you, Congratulations, your brain still works properly. This is overt racism from someone who is very prominent within Republican circles in the Republican Party. And if you're wondering whether or not prominent conservatives plan to distance themselves from him after making these blatantly racist remarks, no, (laughs) they're not. In fact, they're doing the opposite. They are coming out to defend him and insisting that what he said that you just heard is not actually racist. Here's what popular YouTuber The Quartering had to say in response. I don't necessarily, I mean, I don't care. I know that like, I, I don't view, I don't view that as an overtly racist comment because not only I mean, the context is right on the screen. It says DEI in the cockpit. You know, like it, it's just, you know, I, I would also maybe add women to that. And as many people know, my wife is a pilot. Very competent one. Well, I'm sure his wife is thrilled to have conservatives question her competency because of DEI. You know, he says that she's competent, even though she's a woman, but she is still a woman. So who can really say? But you see how Charlie Kirk invoking DEI basically had the same effect as an Uno reverse card here, because the quartering, if you watch the full video, you can kind of see the gears turning in his head. He's like, man, this mm, this sounds racist, but he did play the DEI card, so I guess he's not. You know, the DEI card, I guess it it's just... It really is magical. It worked on other conservatives as well. For example, Matt Walsh defended Charlie Kirk on Twitter saying, no, it's not racist. Don't be ridiculous. The point Charlie Kirk is making that when you hire people based on DEI instead of skill and merit, you create this kind of wariness and suspicion. DEI policies have done that, not Charlie Kirk. Of course, a black pilot could be perfectly qualified, but when United announces, quote, we're going to hire more black pilots, we are left to wonder if any one particular pilot is there because he's the best or if he's there because he fills the demographic quota. Get rid of DEI and all forms of affirmative action and this concern disappears. Notice how he just assumes that they're there because they're black and they didn't undergo any of the same procedures to get qualified as the white pilots. But conservative intellectual Jordan Peterson also chimed in saying, yeah, no, live by die, die by die, diversity, inclusivity, equity. But Tim Pool also chimed in responding to a liberal account calling Charlie Kirk racist saying, Ed knows exactly what Charlie is saying, that racist hiring policies give him pause, not that he thinks race plays a factor in skill. Now, no, that Tim Pool is unironically arguing that it's actually racist to finally start hiring black people and people of color, which is a very interesting take here. But my favorite response comes from this large right-wing account on Twitter 
Twitter, which says people are trying to say Charlie Kirk is racist because of this. Man, why would they say that? I don't think this has anything to do with race but more so to do with how they've weaponized race via DEI to justify placing unqualified individuals into positions that are jeopardizing the safety of others. Thank you so much for clearing that up. I really appreciate it. You know, I personally thought that it had everything to do with race, considering the fact that Charlie Kirk literally said, and I quote, if I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. But, you know, since he played the DEI card, I guess we just have to assume it's not racist. This is exhausting. Exhausting. Now, he predictably doubled down and addressed all of the conservatives who had his back, and um, he was touched. Quote, really encouraged by the amount of support and backup I've received over the DEI pilot segment. What I said is 100% true. DEI fosters unhealthy suspicions and promotes skin color over excellence. We won't stop telling the truth regardless of how much they call us racist. It's funny how he can't not tell on himself because he says DEI fosters unhealthy suspicions of black people in particular when, in fact, he is the one who's suspicious. Nobody else is saying that they're suspicious of black pilots and black people in general because of DEI. He's saying that. He's the one making the connection between black people and them being inherently less qualified because of DEI. It's funny. He has these thoughts that he assumes everyone else is having, but mm, it's just him. Now, to be clear, it's not just his comments about black pilots that fosters suspicion, if you will, that Charlie Kirk may or may not be a racist. I'll let you be the judge of that. It's his belief that black people shouldn't have civil rights as well. I think that's probably even more racist than what he says about black pilots. Because as Wired reports, quote, Kirk argues that the Civil Rights Act, which bars discrimination on the basis of race, ushered in a permanent DEI type bureaucracy referring to diversity, equity, and inclusion. See, civil rights are bad because that's DEI too. In other words, you can literally oppose equal rights for black Americans, but so long as you play the DEI card, Nobody gets to call you racist, apparently. That's the rules. But not everyone is falling for this, thankfully. In fact, black conservatives actually called out Charlie Kirk specifically because of his attacks on MLK Jr., which we did not get to yet in this video. But if you missed it, here's what he said. Wired continues, in 2015, Kirk called MLK Jr. a hero. In 2022, MLK was a civil rights icon. But in December of 2023, speaking before a group of students and teachers at America Fest, a political convention organized by Turning Point USA, Kirk struck a different tone. Quote, MLK was awful, Kirk said. He's not a good person. He said one good thing he actually didn't believe. Interesting. Now, in the same episode where he came out as a racist during his screed about black pilots, he addressed criticisms that he received from black conservatives over those comments about MLK Jr. So he is going to respond and he's going to dictate not only what black role models black Americans should be allowed to have, but also basically tell the people who criticized him who are black conservatives, by the way, so you think they're allies, he's basically going to tell them to fuck off. Let's let's watch. Frederick Douglass, Ben Carson, Thomas Sowell, and Justice Clarence Thomas are far better black role models to celebrate than Martin Luther King, period. There's so much more here, but I just want to kind of just read some of this here. And the, one of my favorite, I mean, I just, I, I chuckle at this. This guy, Armstrong Williams, who I like, and he's a friend. He could have called me or emailed me, but he's afraid to call me or email me because he know I wouldn't put up with it. So instead he just writes the article and then hides behind it. Quote, Kirk's assault on Dr. King is as farcical. Is that how you say it? Fars fars Farcical. Yeah. Not a word I use. As would a middle school student's critique of Albert Einstein's theories as ludicrous as Pontius Pilate's <laughs> declaiming against Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Oh, so questioning MLK <laughs> is challenging the laws of physics and Jesus Christ. What's great is it just really it actually nice. it supports what we said, which is he's become a Christ-like figure in America. We, we pick yeah, dangerous it, fights. It, it, it's so funny. Say. It's like people say, oh, no, he's not a Christ-like figure. By the way, going after him, you might as well attack Jesus. Like, whoa, 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 which is it? And mind you, not a single one of these articles by this other... Guy I've never heard of Delano Squires. The Blaze attacked me. I don't know why the Blaze is attacking me. Would love an explanation for that. Why they're writing articles against us. You know, anyway, that's really it's really ticks me off. It gets And so yeah, he writes this Martin Luther King versus Charlie Kirk and the irreverent right. 
And this is my, he says, quote, conservatives claim that the history of slavery in America should not be judged by today's moral standards. This is, this is guy's such a moron. This is Yet, a dumb argument. This is really dumb. Yet they blame Dr. King, quote, for ideas they find objectionable today more than 50 years after he was assassinated. Wait a second. So black conservatives are basically saying, hey, man, maybe pump the brakes on the racism. You're getting a little bit too explicit. And he basically says, shut the fuck up. It's not racist because I say so. You know, I'm really relieved that he chose to play the DEI card. Otherwise, I would be forced to assume that maybe he's a little bit racist. Now, on a serious note, Charlie Kirk isn't some random dickhead with a podcast. He actually has a lot of power and is an influence peddler within the Republican Party. And as Patriot Takes points out, none of the prominent conservatives associated with him have condemned him. But not all hope is lost because I did find at least one example of a conservative condemning his blatant racism. Christopher Tremogli of the Washington Examiner, a conservative publication, by the way, actually denounced him and called out the conservatives who defended him, not by name, of course, but just kind of like referenced people who defended him. And he said that this line of thinking is wrong and it's not going to win over anybody with that argument, even though, like Kirk, he also is against DEI. So, I mean, there's one, I guess. But for the most part conservatives agree with this we can't pretend as if hysteria over dei is just the charlie kirk thing he might be the most blatant in his racism but it's not just charlie kirk as amisha clark of the daily beast explains elon musk the ceo of a car company whose vehicles have a tendency to catch fire tweeted it will take an airplane crashing and killing hundreds of people for them to change this crazy policy of die the obvious innuendo is that black people are responsible for boeing's failures musk has also referred to dei as quote just another word for racism and I bet the left is going to call Elon Musk racist, too, for saying that. Everyone's racist, according to the left. This is an Orwellian trick that they're doing. They're saying policies to address racism are actually racist. Also, war is peace, freedom is slavery, and ignorance is strength. But Amisha is going to explain that the right's newfound hatred of DEI is literally just racism, period. She continues, as of this week, Florida's 28 public colleges are prohibited from using government funds for diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. And because everything's bigger in the Lone Star State, Texas boasts 30 new anti-DEI laws. 13 states' attorneys general signed a public letter in July 2023 after the fall of affirmative action in college admissions. The letter had nothing to do with college admissions, but the Republican AGs used the Supreme Court decision as a platform to direct voice their collective opposition to DEI in the workforce. These efforts don't even scratch the surface of the anti-DEI architect's ultimate goal, stratifying the American workforce and reducing access to the C-suite, STEM careers, small businesses, and opportunities previously afforded almost solely to white men. America is more diverse today than it has ever been, and the fixes in to ensure diversity isn't reflected in high-paying jobs, the highest levels of government, or leadership in America's top educational institutions. To be black in America is to live in a constant threat of attack on your civil rights and humanity, the questioning of your abilities, and a belief that you are unworthy solely because of the color of your skin. Regardless of how often Nikki Haley says America isn't a racist country, the red, white, and blue time and again finds itself painfully erecting barriers to black achievement, health access, and any marker of equity. And she is absolutely correct. DEI is an attempt to unrig the economy, not rig it, and the goal here is to disentangle white supremacy from our institutions. And opposition to that is nothing more than a thinly veiled attempt to uphold the white supremacist status quo that benefits them and exclusively them. And if they were alive in the 1950s, I genuinely believe that they would be defending Jim Crow. If they were alive in the 1800s, I think they would actually be defending slavery. That's who these people are. When people tell you who they are, we should believe them. So make no mistake about it. These conservatives are racist. Full stop. There's no debate about that. What Charlie Kirk said is quintessential racism, and anyone who tries to pretend as if that's not the case, they're also racist too. Woke mom. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke test. Woke ideology. Woke Olympics. Woke ideology. 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 Wo